Well, it really started raining here at Fort Yargo. So I've ducked into a huge pavilion that looks like it might be a skating rink in the winter time. It's that big. But I'm also at the, uh, they've got a small beach here. And I'm the only one around. I've come across one other couple hiking, but this was good timing to hit this point as the rain got uh, heavier. And you get to see me deal with my, my reading glasses because I, I want to take this opportunity to uh, talk briefly about who inspired me to, to start this channel. Uh, I've always loved photography. I've kind of talked about that in my questions from the pocket, uh, from my pocket. And uh, as, I, as I realized my, my interest was growing and I wanted to pursue it and, and become uh, proficient over time at landscape photography, I started looking at YouTube for resources. So of course you, uh, you know, there are the uh, quote, 800 pound gorillas. And, and those are the ones that, that show up in search results. But there's a reason they show up in, in the YouTube search results because they are phenomenal at what they do. Not only the talent of the photographer, but also in the presentation, the storytelling, the, uh, the editing, um, top to bottom. These are the, the people that captured my attention and gave me information that is invaluable and inspired me to, to help take those steps to, uh, to also create a channel. And over time, I hope to, you know, uh, grow. <laughs> we'll just call it that. Um, I don't have uh, a very good connection here, so I've taken some screenshots of their, uh, the homepage of their channels. And so as I mention them, I'm gonna hold up the iPad and uh, I gotta activate my front screen here. Uh, these are in no particular order. Um, I, I value all their information in their channels and their presentation styles and storytelling skills, experience, all that. Uh, the very first one is a guy who, who's not too far away from, from me in North Georgia, and that is Mark Denny. So hopefully the reflection won't uh, be too bad. But Mark Denny has uh, a very calming presence, informative. Uh, I love just taking that 15 minutes in a video and, uh, and, and gaining that knowledge and, and hear the story he wants to tell. Um, his channel has uh, about 144,000 subscribers right now at the, the timing of, of re this recording. And the, hev the rain's gotten heavier, so hopefully it won't uh, be too problematic with the audio. Uh, he's done uh, 100, and I'm looking down at my phone. I have, I'm a research nut, so I've gone through and, and gathered public facing information about a lot of the people I admire uh, and who inspired me because I, I want to work hard at my channel as well. So uh, Mark Denny has uh, just over 150 videos. Uh, I have information broken down for the past three years, but uh, he has, he has grown into his own style. I really enjoy the, the looking at the camera, the, the calm tone, the reassuring. Yeah, reassuring is a great term. Hopefully, Mark, if you see this, um, that, is, that is a compliment. Uh, is, I hope you take it that way. But he, he just kind of wraps you in, in, in the knowledge and the, the reassuring tone and just tells the story and, and takes you through from beginning to end his goal for that video and for that process for that shot and composition. And uh, it, it, it's a great resource, great channel. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to reach forward for each, uh, each one. So the next one I have uh, is the, the, the giant in the field, we'll say, Thomas Heaton. Uh, I, I hope I don't get any of the history incorrect, Thomas, but uh, my understanding is that you uh, were, were originally way back years ago. He's got the, one of the oldest channels, the most videos uploaded. And he began uh, his landscape vlogging career kind of a behind the scenes and shooting a pilot for a, a television series about photography, landscape photography, I think in general, specifically. And 
just became enamored and comfortable uh, over time with that process and realized that you know people uh, enjoy looking at that so he was he was one of the first ones to, to get out there and, and give you the, the documentary, the storytelling, behind the scenes approach to landscape photography. And uh, his, his uh, success is, is well earned, well earned. Uh, the, the story, the places he gets to go are phenomenal. The scenery, the, 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 the photos he gets are truly amazing. And uh, he, he, uh, he inspired me through the the, the b-roll and the music and the, the the moments as you're you're watching the video you're leading up to the how he got the shot he'll show the, the image and uh, there's a great flow to his uh, to each video and he's honest he, he sh he's shown many times the challenges uh, associated with uh, his process and and just being a landscape photographer over time especially uh, in the UK uh, dealing with uh, lockdown stuff. It's kind of funny, some of his videos. But uh, yeah, Thomas Heaton, another uh, can't miss. Um, and another channel is called Photo Tripper with an F, not a PH. I guess that'll be my clue to, to move on to the next, the next photographer is when my front screen goes away. So Photo Tripper is Gavin Hardcastle. And I love his style because he 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 doesn't he's an amazing photographer bottom line but i love the presentation he doesn't take himself seriously he goes for he makes he works really hard to entertain while while presenting and, and providing real information um he he kind of out of all the channels i've seen uh will be on, in the field giving you pointers he'll be shooting you know putting his finger in front of the lens and sit and talking about his compositions in detail and then even later on in post he'll highlight images and, and circle and write and stuff and it's really helpful to to learn the the process involved with that but he also does a lot of uh narration after the fact once he's back from the field and he's got this kind of buttery smooth uh voice so it's kind of cool to to go from the you know the guy poking fun and, and actually working through skits to, to, to get you to laugh and smile at, at his work. Um, he's also uh, takes the time to, he works hard at, at presenting and a full story with each video. So uh, Gavin, great job. Um, one of my favorites because I'm, I will see if I get to be funny or not in time. I like the, I like the idea of doing skits. Uh, the next one, is oh and the screen didn't go black so uh nick page Man, all these reflections so nick page uh again he's been uh in doing landscape photography uh for, for quite a while uh professionally you know he you know, before i think i believe before the youtube experience uh came to be uh he was actually uh it was his career so he has a, a lot of a lot of knowledge, tons of knowledge, um, practical in the field. You know, this guy doesn't stop for anything to get the shot. Uh, unlike some of us who, you know, scurry to uh, a covering and, and make a video about uh, something. <laughs> Nick, I give you kudos. Uh, all, all these guys, all these people that I'm talking about, uh, are, are really dedicated. And and Nick. Uh, it, it's really obvious um, and, and again another person who who takes you through the shot the process explains uh, not just settings you know ISO all that stuff but explains uh, the art of getting the shot and and why that matters and why that's important so I really enjoy his videos um, again he's got a really successful channel I didn't mention uh, oh my thing went to sleep I didn't mention uh, the other, uh, that's, Thomas Heaton has uh, over 425,000 subscribers, uh, 390 videos, uh, again, nonstop, very prolific. Um, Photo Tripper, Gavin, uh, 50,000 subscribers, 115 videos, uh, tons of views, and uh, Nick Page, 120 plus 1,000 subscribers. Uh, over 200 videos 
And that's just going back, no, that's going back all to the beginning. That, that's on YouTube, that's public. Um, yeah, you'll enjoy his channel very, very much. And moving on, the next one is the last guy to round out this group of photographers called F4, which is Thomas Heaton, Nick Page, Gavin Hardcastle, and Adam Gibbs, who will be this next one I show. And these four uh, have, have traveled together, photographed together, uh, they bounce off each other, uh, uh, jokes and, and ideas and the chemistry there. These are four fun guys to watch. Uh, they love doing what they, they, they do. Um, so here's Adam Gibbs on his website, or his YouTube channel, sorry. Um, another one, uh, almost 50,000 subscribers, almost just about 200 videos. Uh, and this is um, mid-November 2020, what a year. But um, Adam Gibbs is a, the, a big reason why I like watching Adam's videos is that he, 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 he extremely talented, the, the, the grand-esque, the, the large, wide shots, those uh, are there. But I like how he gets to a scene and you know, you're always told to, to look behind you, look up, look down, look around. Uh, Adam has a way of finding details in, in a scene that uh, only he can see. And it's, it's pretty amazing to, to watch uh, that process and hopefully, you know, people like myself watch and absorb and, and remember to, to, to look for those other details, those small details. Uh, great site, great, great content. Um, I really enjoy watching Adam's videos. And I guess from the F4 group, I don't know this for a fact, but he may be the elder statesman. And I like that as well, <laughs> because that's a, a lot of what I am dealing with. Uh, and another one I came across, uh, not recently, but um, over overseas is Chris Sale. And Chris is, I love his style. He's in what's called the Lake District. I don't know anything about it other than that there are a lot of photographers there based out of that. But he is, he's very straightforward. Um, and he shows some behind the scenes about how he deals with being uh, a vlogger. But he's, he's really into helping others, like the one-to-one. -one. And all these people are, uh, I'm sure. But, but Chris makes a point of, of presenting that in his channel where he, he helps people learn how to vlog, he helps people with photography, he, he, he does uh, a fair amount of workshops, and it's, it's, it's a very sincere approach, um, especially taking the approach that, uh, that I'm trying to do as well, is, is to say, like, I'm, this is the beginning of something, so I'm gonna make mistakes, and uh, you're gonna see them and hopefully learn from them. Uh, so Chris uh, gets out there uh, constantly. He knows the area very well, that Lake District, and uh, produces some amazing photography, and he's a great storyteller. He, he's one that you can, you can see, I guess maybe I, I started watching him earlier enough that I, I've seen the progression, the, the, the progress of, of how he has improved in his storytelling and his style, and he's kind of settled into his, his own thing now, and it's, 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 it's unique. Uh, let's see, so if I have one more, I don't have one more right now. Um, I'm gonna go with, with that for now, this is already up to 15 minutes. Um, but these are there, are, there are so many, I've, I've already looked at uh, over 50 channels I subscribe to at the moment. Um, I know there's easily hundreds uh, from big channels to small channels. There's other channels, other, other people who have you know, hundreds of thousands of subscribers I didn't mention. Uh, I'm just talking about the ones that I've come across and that I enjoy and uh, I, I found some connection with at this moment. There will be plenty of others. Um, and uh, I, I just look forward to, to seeing all, all this new content all the time. Please uh, check out these channels, help out, look for some other channels, look for some small ones. I'm gonna have another video about uh, Will I point? Will it appear? There'll be a card. Who knows? I'm just learning. I'm just starting all this. 
but uh, there'll be a video about helping other small uh, YouTube channels uh, that are under a thousand subscribers uh, get some exposure, get some help, uh, you know, reaching some goals and, and reaching more people. Uh, so I hope you like that. Uh, the rain has been coming down even harder, so I'm gonna have to put uh, some rain gear on and, and head back to the car, I think. Uh, the fog, there's still a little bit out there on the water, but nothing like earlier today. So uh, we'll see you next time. Please uh, take a moment to uh, subscribe, like this video, and spread the word. Uh, I'd, I'd love to, to, to have you help me become a successful uh, YouTube channel and help other people as well, like myself. Thank you. My front screen here, because uh, I, I need to be able to see. Let's see. GoPro, front screen. GoPro, front screen on. GoPro, front display on. GoPro, front display. <laughs> so how do you get that to come back up? All right. I guess I gotta really reach out and, and squeeze it. Okay.